In this video, we'll figure out the molecular geometry for ICL5. So the first thing we need to do to figure out the molecular geometry is write the Lewis structure. So this is the Lewis structure for ICL5. You'll notice each chlorine has an octet, but the central iodine, it has more than eight valence electrons. It has an expanded octet. That's okay, iodine can have an expanded octet. So we have our Lewis structure. We can kind of imagine all of these things here spreading out, pushing against each other and spreading out as far away as they can from each other. That would give us the molecular geometry for ICL5. Let's visualize that though. The purple, that's the central iodine atom. We're gonna put five chlorine atoms around in one lone pair. So here's one, two, you see they're spreading out, three, four, five, and they've all spread out as far away from each other as they can. We still need to add that lone pair. So we put our lone pair in, and now we have what's called a square pyramidal molecular geometry. The electron geometry, where we take into account the lone pair, that's going to be octahedral. But the molecular geometry, square pyramidal. Let's go back to our Lewis structure. So if we couldn't visualize the square pyramidal just by looking at the Lewis structure, there's two other ways we could do this. One is we could count up the things attached to the central iodine to find the steric number. So there's one, two, three, four, five atoms in one lone pair. So let's take a look at that. So if we have a steric number of six, the five atoms in the one lone pair, that gives us a steric number of six, and we said one lone pair. We go down, and there's our square pyramidal molecular geometry. We could also use what's called the AXE notation to figure out the molecular geometry for ICL5. So we have A, that's the central atom, that's the iodine. X, that's the number of atoms bonded to it. We have five chlorine atoms. And E, that's the number of lone pairs. We have one lone pair. So we have AX5E1. You could either memorize that this notation here would give us square pyramidal, or you could look this up on a table if you're allowed to do that. When we talk about the bond angles here, we'd expect that these bond angles right here would be 90 degrees. And this here, you could consider that 180. This is Dr. B with the molecular geometry and bond angles for ICL5, iodine pentachloride. Thanks for watching.